Hello. This is uh, Ubuntu 16.04, uh, but with a few additions uh, running on it. Uh, a KX set of tools, um, including uh, Cadence, uh, which allows uh, me to connect to the jack engine and to configure it as I wish to, um, and also shows the CPU scaling governor, which I can change to performance to make sure that there are no strange lags. Uh, it shows that I've installed the uh, low latency kernel and that the user group, uh, user uh, audio group has been added. And uh, most importantly for me, at least, uh, is uh, the Pulse Audio Bridge, which allows me to connect various other elements of my system to the jack engine. Um, and here we can see that we've got Katya, which is a second tool. Um, and you can see that you've got uh, System, uh, you've got Pulse Audio Jack Sync, uh, Pulse Audio Jack Source, uh, System Capture, uh, MIDI Through, uh, and Ardor here, which has got a few channels connected. Now, the very first time I set up an Ardor session, each time I add a new channel in Ardor, I need to connect the MIDI Through port to that new channel. Uh, after that, it seems to remember it. This is the uh, Impact uh, IX49, whatever that means, uh, external USB MIDI keyboard, which is connected to the MIDI through. Uh, and then if we go over here, we've got Ardor running with a number of channels uh, set up, just as a test. Uh, we can see that we've got automation uh, running here as well. So if you expand that, you can actually uh, you know, do as you want. Uh, if you've got the draw tool, then you can just simply draw the various elements in. Um, Staccato violins there, um, and if we pull up the mixer, we can see the most important thing for me, which has been able to is being able to set up the Carla patch bay or Carla rack, or in fact combined, on each channel, loading a uh, contact player uh, or other Windows VSTs through Wine. Uh, here's a there's a little patch bay inside each one of these, so you can route individual elements uh, as you please and the rack itself, uh, which allows us to open up the contact factory library. So we've got uh, cellos on sustain there, um, quite normally. Actually, I think there should be staccato in this, if I remember right, so I'll stick it on there. You can control these uh, um, articulations externally as well. Um, and uh, now, if we just, uh, well, uh, even though all of the uh, channels are connected uh, through MIDI through, uh, it's only when you activate them here that they become actually active. So we can say... And you can also record uh, simultaneous channels together at the same time. So let's just play this from the beginning just to get an idea of it. And you'll be able to see the uh, automation uh, automatically responding to what I drew and wrote before. So we've just added that uh, to there. So, oops, I just drew into it. Let's get rid of that. Change that. And so we can see uh, that uh, the piano section has been added. Now, one of the nice things is that you can also add uh, audio, standard audio effects onto it. So let's uh, give some horrendous reverb to this. Uh, before we do that, let's copy it a few times. There's an auto duplicate thing as well there, so but just so we've got it running a few more times there. So, and we, for example, we can also transpose it. Let's uh, if we, you have to unlink it first, I think. I'm not actually that clued up on Ardour, but let's give it a try. Unlink from other copies, and then we can transpose this down, for example, um, by an octave, let's say. Oops, 
Well, two, let's try it. Ah, three, let's go insane. There you go. Can't even see the notes anymore. Right. <laughs> So let's uh, duplicate that a couple of times as well. As you can see, I'm all out of time. There's nothing precise about this at all. This is just a test. <laughs> say we want to add another instrument so again you can just uh, go in add another MIDI track um, set this to none at the moment and I'm just going to be lazy and copy across one of the other patch bays so let's take this one across here so it's copied across the patch bay and the instrument uh, connected it all automatically as I say the only manual thing that you still have to do is go back here and make sure that MIDI through is connected to this new channel um, and we can take out the cellos and maybe add in some other string instrument, perhaps, or maybe something else. Let's have a look. Let's try a flute. Why not? <coughs> so just adding a flute in there. Uh, we can close that down. Activate it. Um, let's shrink this a bit so we've got more space. So I'm going to arm the flute, um, make sure it's running, there it is. Uh, we've armed the track and let's go ahead. And Like. 